Welcome to my video on vectors and scalars. What on earth are these things we call vectors and scalars? Well first let me introduce you to vectors. A vector is a quantity that has magnitude and it has direction. Now when I say magnitude, magnitude means the size of something. So with a vector quantity we know the magnitude or the size and we know the direction it's moving towards. Now let's talk about scalars. A scalar quantity only has a magnitude. So we know the size of a scalar quantity, but we do not know the direction. This is because a scalar quantity only has a magnitude. So let me show you some real life examples, and I think this will all make a lot more sense. Now for our first example, let's say we are going on a road trip. And during this road trip, we travel a distance of 300 miles. Now the direction in which we travel is not given to us. We do not know if we travel 300 miles north or south or to the right or to the left. The direction is not given to us. The only thing that's given to us is the distance or the magnitude of how far we traveled. So therefore, distance is a scalar quantity because it only has a magnitude and the direction is unknown. Uh, but let's say, for example, the direction was given to us. So let's say we traveled 300 miles to the right. This is what we call displacement. Displacement is just another way of saying distance, but with displacement, the direction in which the object is moving must be given. So because we know the direction, displacement is a vector quantity. Displacement has a magnitude, which in this example is 300 miles, and displacement also has direction, which in this example is to the right. So I hope this gives you a better idea of why displacement is a vector quantity and why distance is a scalar quantity. Now I want to go over as many different examples as possible, and I think the best way to do this would be listing all of the most common scalar quantities and the most common vector quantities. Now in our first example we already established why distance is a scalar quantity and why displacement is a vector quantity, but now let's list some more. Another common scalar quantity is speed. If we say a car is traveling at a speed of 50 miles per hour, then we do know the magnitude of how fast the car is going, but we do not know the direction which the car is going. So because we know the magnitude and we don't know the direction, this is why speed is a scalar quantity. But let's say, for example, that the car is traveling 50 miles per hour to the north. In this example, we do know the magnitude of how fast it's going, and we know the direction it's going to the north. This is what we call velocity. Velocity is a vector quantity because we have a magnitude and we have a direction. Now some other common scalar quantities are time and temperature. They both have magnitude but they do not have a direction. And some other common vector quantities are acceleration, force, and change in temperature. All of these do have magnitude and they also have direction. So I highly encourage you to think about all of these units for yourself. Think, do they just have magnitude or do they also have direction? And then you can figure out yourself whether each unit is a vector or a scalar.